Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, I'm taking it back to the basics. I just want to sit and talk and chit chat and rant with you guys like old times, with myself like old times. So if you're new to my channel or if you're just a hating asshole keeping up and you don't know, but check out my videos from like way back in the day when I used to just do my wind down Wednesdays or maybe my get ready with me. Sometimes I would talk and like just go off the dome basically. This is gonna be like that. But the difference now is I've kind of put down the wine glass and picked up the blunt. I would say don't have high expectations for this video because it is a rant, but then on the other hand, have the very most expectations because it's me, the fuck? Like, it's nothing. I prefer to go off the dome anyways. So let's go ahead, if you are a smoker or if you are a sipper, get whatever you have, let's light up and let's get this party started. Me, I'm just, this is me being a dope fiend. I'm just about to um, finish this one off because it's just, I don't know, it's just bothering me. And then we're gonna get started with this, baby. Okay. Cheers to this um, blunt, cheers to this good day. This is actually a wake and bake, really. So, gotta love a good wake and bakey. I literally have no shame. Now that I'm lighting up this little bitty thing on camera at that, that's funny. But it's really just to get me started. This is just to kind of, you know, get the party started. It's like a shot. Ooh, let me tell y'all this. This is what I should start talking to y'all about. I've been watching this, this show, Miss Pat Show. Smoky mirrors. <laughs> Smoky mirrors. <laughs> Lately, I've been watching the Miss Pat Show, and I've been going so crazy, acting like a fangirl, because I'm like, why am I so geeked about this show? Like, why is it this funny or this interesting but it's because i be high and it is funny and i think what it is i'm just a fan of like real life and like the truth of it all and i love everyone's story like everyone literally has a life story so i feel like that show is so funny if y'all have not watched it y'all need to check it out the show is a sitcom about her life so it's just it's just hilarious and she's like so completely vulgar and i'm like i like this like mm. another thing i've been off social media of course not youtube because youtube is like home okay youtube is like home and twitter is like the backyard like twitter is like we outside in the backyard being bad talking about shit we ain't supposed to be talking about doing things we ain't supposed to be doing like twitter is like the neighborhood it literally is it's like you outside getting into shit like seeing a whole lot of shit and just being wild that's twitter youtube is like home youtube is like the house you know it's where like i feel like it's like a therapy it's like you know i could release talk about whatever that's YouTube. So anyways, that's a whole nother rant. But that's what YouTube is. So long story short, I've been off social media. I've been off, I've been off Instagram. And I've been off Instagram because it's boring. Like, I haven't been taking pictures like I used to. So it's like, it's boring. You, I mean, Instagram, Instagram was only fun for me when like, I take pictures. I feel like if I'm not dropping pictures, what are we here for? Like, a lot of people don't post on their feed anymore. It's all like stories. It's all like what you doing. And it's just giving, it's giving very much what you doing. And I just don't like that aspect of Instagram. So let me know, like, does Instagram give y'all that too? Like, does it give you like that? What you doing? Like, you could just check on people so easily. And I just find that to be like, ugh, I don't know how I feel about that. And also another reason I got off Instagram is because I just felt like I was checking my phone. And y'all know that goes against my principle of trying to be present as many times as I can like you know so I be thinking of stuff like oh I don't want a cell phone no more I just want a house phone like I just been in this mood or this space of like being unreachable I don't know but it's been like that for a while and I call it maturing and growing that's what I think it is because you can't put yourself in all situations and around all people you have to protect everything around you. That was the place I was in when I pretty much got off Instagram. That was the place I was in. I felt like, you know, I don't know if people are checking up on me and if they are, I don't want them to. 
and um, that's one thing. I felt like, and now this was this is my own personal life of like clearly this is like what was going on in my life. That was one thing that prompted me, and just the overall fact of it just being boring. Like you know, Instagram also was seeming like negative. Like I felt like my algorithm and my feed was giving like the shade room, unlocked Hollywood, Krishan and Blueface. Like show me Prince Harry in um. What's her name again? Long story short, I got off Instagram because I didn't feel like it was real. And I felt like when I say it's not real, I feel like you can post where you're at and you're not even there. Like you could post memories and things that happened that like you took weeks ago or something. You could be like, oh, you're at the beach and you're just reposting you're at the beach. Not that like you won't say that it's a memory or something like you can just be like, hey, two years ago today or I don't fucking know. Or even if it's as something as simple as you not at a restaurant no more and you're posting you're at a restaurant. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's like that's literally how it can even be misconstrued in the slightest of ways. So if it's as simple as that, then it's like, why is it not this obvious that like this app is just not real? It's literally an app. It's a literally like a game. Like. It's literally like good things come from it and bad things, but that's all things. So it's like, that's just what it is. But it was just like, because of that, it's neither here nor there. I delete Instagram and nothing about my life changes. So what purpose does it serve? You know, like it's okay. And this is just what I'm saying about how some people may, um, you know how some people can be just obsessed with social media or the internet. You know, not like it's bad to have it. No, it's super fine. Like I'm on, pretty much every other social platform except Instagram right now. Well, nothing's wrong with it all. It's just like sometimes it can become obsessive, like the addiction of being on that bitch, like scrolling through it. So I was like, you know what? I need to, you know, find other ways to spend my time and just always try to remain more present. Anyways, I don't need to be on this app. There we have it. So I stopped being on Instagram. I didn't think it really mattered and I didn't even notice um, that I was like, quote unquote, off Instagram. People started texting me and checking up on me like, oh, hey, like, I haven't seen you. Like, you know, um, you're not on Instagram or, you know, where have you been? And I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, oh, like, yeah, well, I mean, I'm not on Instagram, but I mean, you have my number. Like, you know, <laughs> it may be like a mental thing. Like if, if someone's like off of the internet, you know, they may be going through something, but maybe you should reach out to them. And that's, that can be true. That also just shows like how, you know, real it can be to an extent. How real, you know, some people th think it is or, you know, so how real it is to some people. Ooh, but we better go. Let's talk about the metaverse. <laughs> We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I don't feel like doing that. But since I haven't been on Instagram, I'm like, well, what has changed? I don't get to hear bad news every fucking day. Family of five ran over by a truck or like whatever it is, like overall news. You know, I don't know. Some part of just being out the loop with that, I just, I can do without. I don't like watching the news. I like to be out of touch with shit like that. With the news and the drama comes like all these opinions. Now me being a Twitter girl, I love a good thread. Like that's what they're called now. I love going through a thread. I love seeing the comments. Like it's funny. Like the comments get funnier and funnier on Twitter because it's like joke. So it'll be like joke after joke after joke after joke. So it's like, oh my God, this is funny. But it's like the comment section on Instagram it can literally just be like be all over the place and not even maybe just instagram maybe this is every platform but it's just like all those comments 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 it was driving me crazy because it's like this is like an online conversation and like i know i'm a real person but like is that person behind the keyboard a real person i don't know the anonymousness of it was like this is crazy this is some freaky shit. that was freaking me out with instagram please tell me if anyone understands what I'm saying. Like the fact that all these comments are like, they maybe are real people, but then like, are they not? But then like, do they have a good point or don't they? Or like, and then everyone is, you know, everyone feels different about everything and everyone's allowed to feel different about everything. But then are they? Because what if you feel okay about this one topic that is really like, 
taboo or illegal. Like, it's just a crazy place. But it's the world we live in. We are all completely different. That can be a good thing or it can be a bad thing. But it's kind of like if you know that, then you know also how good it is to be, you know, your unique self as well. Another thing I didn't like about Instagram, I could never post something and it just be for bullshit. Like Twitter, you can literally tweet the stupidest shit and like, we're all just gonna laugh. Like, that's it. It seemed like Instagram was like, whatever you say or do on there can be used against you. And it was just like, what? This is weird. Like I'm posting this Justin LeBoy post because it's funny or it's stupid or because maybe I'm talking to you. It ain't about me. Like, it was just like, what? I cannot even like post anything on here because it's just gonna be used against me in the court of law. Like one of the funnest things is to just talk shit. You know, I don't know. I just feel like that's one of the funnest things to do. And to be taken so serious all the time or so literal, it's like, what? Like, why don't you have some fun? Like, have some fun. I don't know. Could just be me. I could just be high. I could just be too high too often. I should do this again, but on edibles. Mm. I love me a good edible, I do. And to think that I literally had a panic attack my first experience, and I still went back. I still, I, I just figured them out. I figured you out. This is what I get from watching too many shroom videos. I could really talk about this for so long because it's so many like fun tweets I come across that's like, ooh, this is a good topic. Yeah, I could talk about this forever. I really could. I done messed around and got high. That's what's done happen. Y'all done got me high. I, um, I want to do more videos like this. Sometimes I want to bring the topics, but then sometimes I'm like, let me see where y'all at. Let me see what y'all want to talk about because honestly, I could freestyle. I can get high and just fucking be there. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up right now because I'm high as hell. I'm about to get something to eat. I'm about to get, I'm about to get some food. Anyways, I'm going to end the video here. Make sure you are following me on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe. And yeah. Okay. So I will catch y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.